up guys welcome to my channel knowledge with science today let's talk about biology microbiology do you like to learn about bacteria viruses antibiotic stuff if yes this video is specially made for you i have a short story to tell you there was a man who caught a disease he took some medicines which were advised by his doctor and was told that he had a bacterial infection as per the prescription he had to take the medicines for 12 days but after taking medicines for 6 days he felt better and did not continue the course he caught that disease again and took the same medicine 12 days without the advice of his doctor afterwards he consulted his doctor and doctor gave him the new medicine for 15 days and told that he had caught the same disease again why did this happen he took the same medicine for same amount of day for the same infection again but didn't revive this is because the bacteria in his body were now resistant to that type of antibiotic thus needed the stronger one every living organisms including you and me make copies of their own dna these copies get passed on in our next generation we make some mistakes while making these copies of our dna if i tell you to make 10 copies of the script of this video and you have to write that by hand not photocopy would you be able to make them perfectly there would be some sort of spelling mistake in one or your handwriting would be bad in one you couldn't make it exactly same right in the same way you may me you make some mistakes while making copies of your dna This process takes 37 years in human body but it takes only 20 minutes in bacteria that's why the bacteria can get immune to the antibiotic you are taking if you don't complete the course like this man in the story did this means that these bacteria become antibiotic resistant the bacteria which are immune to nearly everything we have to fight against them are called superbugs An example of this kind of superbug is XRD tuberculosis. This type of tuberculosis, all four main drugs that we use to fight against them in case of normal tuberculosis. So do you think there is any way to protect ourselves from these dangerous superbugs? Yes, there is. And it's bacteriophage or it's named as phage for short. These phages are viruses. which kill bacteria and the fascinating thing is that they don't harm us in any way what are phages what is their structure how do they kill bacteria and can we use them against bacteria to fight for us as they don't harm us in any way if you want to know all this you have to subscribe this channel as the next video on this channel will be about bacteriophages also you will get a notification when i upload my next video it motivates me to make more such videos it's free but it means me a lot So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. See you later.